I actually think of Nick Jonas. Oh, okay. For some for some reason, um, I've always thought of him having diabetes as an inspiration to everybody that does have diabetes. And hearing diabetes actually makes me think of him. Okay. And for those people who don't know who Nick Jonas is. <laughs> Nick Jonas is a part of the Jonas Brothers, and you probably do know who he is. Um, and he does have diabetes, and for every concert, um, he wears his um, diabetes necklace, and he has real struggles with it, I've heard. <laughs> okay. Now, do you have diabetes? No, I do not. Okay. Does anyone in your family? Um, not that I know of. Okay, so so besides Nick Jonas, what do you know about diabetes? Um, I know that you have to watch your sugar a lot, and that if you don't, then you have serious medical problems, something mm -hmm. like that. And what about, um, uh, do, do you know uh, anyone that has diabetes? Um, Anybody in your family? No one no. in your family? I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Because I don't see most of my family. Okay. So. Do you have any friends or no other people? Uh, that? No friends that have diabetes. Okay, so most of what you know about it is from television or reading or yes. something like that. Okay, what do you think causes diabetes? Um, genetics in your family. Um, I've heard of one person, um, her, she had diabetes and it was because her mother had diabetes and her grandmother had diabetes. And I think it's just a genetic thing. Okay. Do you think there's any other um, uh, risk factors, things that might um, cause you to be inclined to have it? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what kinds of things does a person with diabetes have to do to keep it under control? Um, I know they have to watch the sugar a lot and watch what they eat and not eat not eat too much um, of sugar and candy and everything and um, they have to prick their blood something like that um, and to see how high their diabetes level is or something like that <laughs> okay okay now if I said you, you have to watch what you eat what would that mean to you um watch the sugar that in certain foods that you have like um candy they have it has a lot of sugar and you have to watch what that and then um some drinks have a lot of sugar in them so i think you'd have to watch that and, and what would um if i asked you what what's a healthy diet a uh, healthy diet is and it depends on who you are. I mean, if you can eat and not gain weight or nothing happens to you, then, I mean, I guess you can pretty much have a diet. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you eat. But um, for some people, like me, I have to watch what I eat because I gain weight eat very easily. And um, I guess a healthy diet or healthy um, <laughs> meal would be like, a salad with carrots and stuff like that. Okay. Would you have anything with your salad? Um, I know that dressing probably is the healthiest thing, and I don't eat dressing, so that's not really something that I would put with my salad. But um, there's nothing really that you could put with your salad. I mean. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, when. Uh, when you think about your friends or the boys and girls that you go to school with, mm -hmm. do you think obesity is a problem? Yes, definitely. Um, most of my friends at school are overweight, and most of the kids at school, not just my friends, are overweight. And that's a big thing with Mississippians. I mean, not just Mississippians, but we have the highest obesity level in, in the United States. And I think that sometimes it's how we've been raised like if our parents um, don't eat very healthy then we end up not eating healthy we can change it but we kind of don't but we kind of choose not to okay uh, do you think um, do you think you and others your age can influence your parents to, to do differently um we can but if we try to some parents um, 
I know one of my friend's parents, she doesn't try to mess with her mother just because her mother is so strict and everything. And, um, and if she tries to influence her to do otherwise than what she usually does, it's not it's not really recommended. I mean, not like recommended, but it's not, um, it's not something that she would want to do be, just because of how her mother is. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the school lunches. What are they like? <laughs> um, we're supposed to have fruits and vegetables and everything, but it's not good. Um, I mean, not just like twice, Taste-wise, it's not good, but healthy-wise, it's not. Because usually we don't have fruits. Usually we don't have vegetables. It kind of depends on what time you come into lunch. Like, um, at our middle school, it's 5th through 8th grade, and the 5th graders go first for lunch, and so they usually get the good food. And the 8th graders, now, we don't get the good food. Like, we've been shorted out of the food that the 5th graders had. Okay, so when it runs out, there's not, yeah, there's no more. There's no extra, so that means you miss out on green beans and carrots and yeah. <laughs> and sometimes the school food isn't good, so we probably won't eat it, <laughs> even if it is there. <laughs> we'll keep that a secret. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you have um, a hello? Maybe I just turn and pick the hello. Do you have a physical education? We do. Um, it's. It's educating, but in our time now, um, you kind of just like, oh, it's just another boring class. What do we do now? And um, some, and I don't really, I didn't like my PE coach this year. And um, my mom has always said, if you don't like the teacher, you're not going to like the class. Mm -hmm. But just because you don't like the class doesn't mean that you still can't learn stuff. So we do have a physical education class, but. It's not good. What do you do in the class? Well, sometimes we go down to the gym, and our coach, um, he tries to make us work, but the girls in my class um, don't really want to. And then when you're the, like the only one that wants to work out and stuff like that, then there's nobody else that wants to play games or do kickball and stretch and stuff with you. Then you're kind of like, oh, okay, well, I have to go up there and sit down because everybody else is, so... Hard to be a leader. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're younger, it's, it, it is hard, isn't it? Yes. What now? Um, um, do you exercise at home or do you get activity yes. at home? Um, we have a Wii and, at home, and when I stay at home by myself, my mom has always said, when, you, when you're not doing anything, get on the Wii, exercise, do stuff like that. And we have Wii Sports and we fitness and everything so it's fun to get on there it's like you're playing games to lose weight mm -hmm. and it's really fun so yeah we do exercise at home but not all the time okay so do you do you, do you play any team sports or? um i actually do baton twirling and i have been baton twirling since i was two and um and it does kind of help with exercise and stuff, but you have, but it depends on what you're doing mm -hmm. to get exercise and stuff like that. So. Now you mentioned before that um, sometimes your mom worries about you getting too heavy, or you worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do when you start getting concerned? Um, kind of, I kind of starve myself actually. I mean, if I get too worried about how much I'm gaining weight, then I'm like, okay, I can't eat this, can't eat that, can't go to McDonald's. Um, and you're just like, okay, then what can I eat? And not all the time is salad available to us. I mean, um, we just got some salad, and I've been eating it almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> but you like it? Hmm? I love salad. You like fresh fruits? Are they easy to get here at the grocery store? Or? Um, see, we live out in the country, and it's it takes about twenty minutes to get to town. So, it's um, it's available, but you kind of don't want to make the trip to come in mm -hmm. to get it. So you have to think ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Plan ahead. Yes. Are y'all growing a garden this summer? Um, we're not. We haven't because we have a lot of dogs mm -hmm. and they like to dig up the oh. ground. Yes. Yes. 
How about your neighbors? Um, because we live out in the country, we actually don't have many close neighbors. But um, we do have a couple of people that are growing some sweet corn and stuff. Um, and my dad was actually a farmer, but um, he got offered another job, so he's not farming anymore. And we were available to sweet corn and stuff like that. And his boss was growing a garden, and we were available to his. But now that he has another job, we're not. So, when um, <clears throat> when when you when your family goes shopping, mm -hmm. who makes the choices about what you buy? Um, depends on who we're with. Um, if I'm with my mom, then um, then we if we ask for it, then she'll get it for us. But if we don't ask, then it's usually we don't usually get it. So, kind of yeah. up to me and my brother. How old your brother? He just turned 14. Okay, so what choices, what things do you like to pick up when um, you go shopping? I love apples, and I like celery with peanut butter, and I love carrots, and grapes, pretty much just the basic stuff. Um, I don't usually, I don't eat a lot of fruit or vegetables, it's kind of like you want to be a vegetarian because it's healthy for you, but you don't want to eat all that. Um, and so, just give me an idea of what's uh, what we what do you think you'll have for lunch today? Hmm. Well, uh, probably go up to McDonald's. I mean, I don't. It's not a good thing to say, but I mean, that's what I will have. I mean. Because it's your favorite, or because it's no, convenient? it's it's we just got one, so it's kind of like okay, we're gonna go up there and eat almost every day. Um, and when I'm with my mom, it we had um, we have another store, um, Bumpers, and it's not it's not great food, and it's not healthy food, but I mean. There's no healthy place, there's no place to get healthy foods in town. Do you cook? You Sometimes. Cook? What do you cook? <laughs> I like to cook grilled cheese. Do you? Is that one of your favorites? Huh? And, um, quesadillas. I kind of do stuff on the stove, but I don't like putting things in the oven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of scared of the oven. And what about mom? What's the best thing mom, your mom makes? What's your favorite? Um, if you could ask for a, your favorite meal tonight, what would that be? Hmm. Hamburger helper. Really? Yes. Um, that's usually what we have, hamburger helper. Um, it's only when we don't have, um, it's only when like we haven't planned on what we're going to have if we have salad and stuff like that. So, um, does your mom work full time? Mm -hmm. Does she? And your dad's working outside the home? Yes. Does dad cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs and bacon. Yes. <laughs> and what about your brother? Does he cook? No. Okay. So, there's not a whole lot of cooking that goes on no. at your house. Mom is usually the one that cooks, but we don't usually eat out either. Mm -hmm. We just kind of see what's in the fridge and just eat that. Okay. It's, it's not healthy, but it's whatever there.